New Balance. Good advice. All right, Bart, come and do another video. And we're gonna do a little spoon bending video. So people always ask, can you do more than silverware? Like thicker metal, bigger, better. Um, you can, it's not the point, but I thought I'd try it today because people ask it. And so, all right, here we go. I have a monster Cuisinart ladle. Mm -hmm. Yep, still has a tag on it, brand new. Way thicker than the forks and spoons that I teach for the spoon bending, so I'm gonna give it a whirl, okay? So I'm just gonna do the spin technique. I just, I really love doing the spin technique and the gold light technique. So I'm gonna do the spin technique and, and see how quickly it works on this thick piece of metal. So I'm just gonna close my eyes, take a breath. I'm gonna ask for the direction of spin to be shown that will make this piece of metal soft. Ooh, cool. So often I see a, a spin coming down from the top or into the side, but I actually saw a diagonal coming in from here. So now I'm gonna ask that spin to accelerate faster and faster and faster until it's at the highest speed possible, and then I'm gonna ask it to hold it there, and then I'm just gonna disconnect from it, okay? Okay, done. I'm gonna give it a little bit to incubate because this is pretty thick. Um, so why the spin technique? I'm gonna explain why you wanna learn spoon bending because a lot of people are like, well, what's the point in that? It's a nice party trick, but that's not what it's about at all. So spoon bending is really to show you techniques that you can use in your life to manifest the things that you want and also learn different ways to work with your energy. So the spin technique is super cool. It comes from neuro-linguistic programming. It's, it's one of my first videos on YouTube and um, you can use it in two ways. The first way is that if you want to release or dissolve an emotion and you're having trouble with it, you would connect to the emotion. So say you're feeling anger right now. So I'd close my eyes, connect to the anger. And let's say, I'm gonna ask for the direction of spin of that anger that I'm feeling, and let's say I'm seeing it come in the side here. So what I would envision, and some people are like, well, I don't get it, I don't see it. So create it in your mind. What you would create in your mind is then the spin going in the opposite direction, and you'd have it going faster and faster and faster until it was at the fastest possible speed, and then you'd ask it to hold it there. And that would actually dissolve that anger. If you wanted to feel another emotion, that you often don't feel. And I use this example of, say you have to give a presentation at work and public speaking is not your thing. Um, you would connect to a time where you felt super confident. So maybe you won the baseball championship, maybe you're a valedictorian of your class and you were giving your speech. Um, a time where you felt super confident. So you'd connect to that memory and then you'd pull up that feeling. You'd, you'd really go into that space of feeling that emotion of confidence. And as soon as you felt that confidence, you'd ask for the direction of spin to be shown to you. So let's say that I'm seeing it go up and out like this. Instead of asking it to go reverse, you would have it go in that same direction and you'd have it go faster and faster and faster. And as soon as you saw that spin going in that same direction at the fastest possible speed, then you'd anchor it into your body. So maybe you'd tap your collarbone or you'd pull on your earlobe, but you do something to anchor it into the body. And then when you wanna use that confidence, say, um, so you do this about three days before maybe giving that presentation. So let's then say about 15 minutes before that presentation, all you'd have to do is the physical anchor to pull up that confidence. So it's a really wonderful technique to use in your life and it works. So, all right, let's see if this is ready. I have no idea. I've never done anything like this before. So let's see. <laughs> awesome. So to answer a lot of your questions, um, it doesn't matter how thick the metal is. So this is really cool. I'd say, you know, do whatever kind of metal you want. I usually stick to forks and spoons, but you can do ladles. You can do steel rods. You can do whatever you want. If you want to learn more about quantum spoon bending, go to my website, rnabout.com, um, or go to my YouTube channel. Hope you're having a great day. Bye.